Welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. I'm here with Narcissus Dren, who pretty much, in my opinion, is a grave robber. <laughs> That's pretty much what he is, and he wants me to protect him. Am I running the wrong way? I don't think so. Hello? Am I supposed to... Where is going on? Oh, there we go. Bodies, not cremated ashes. A technique that predates the earliest Dark Elves. Okay. What else do you have going on here? I just see a lot of mushroom guys. Uh, oh dear, I don't like the look of this. I'm sure you can manage. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a little bit much for me. A little bit much, Aim for the buddy. Vital parts. They have to have vital parts. Okay, uh, let's uh, try this on for size and see if it works. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Yes, ulti on them, ulti on them. Come on, come on. Let's go. We win. We win. Hey, Narcissus Dread. Scaredy cat, where are you? Did you run ahead of me? What a guy. Just abandons me. Ancient stairs. These often lead to ancient treasures. You think? Uh, hello? Uh, what is that? This is disappointing. Where's all the treasure? Nothing but some broken crates in an old well. Hmm, maybe in the well? Narcissus Dren never fails like this. I blame you, apprentice. Why do you blame me? It's not my fault. My translation was nearly perfect. So how could this be? Where are the relics? The treasure? There's nothing here but some busted old crates and a decrepit old well. I guess that old scroll was wrong. No, that's impossible. Ancient scrolls lead to discovery and treasure, not disappointment. Okay. I blame you, apprentice. You obviously don't have the attitude and temperament necessary to make great discoveries. You've ruined my expedition. Wow, wasn't it worth it just for the adventure? Isn't that a noble sentiment? But noble sentiments don't pay the bills or sell my books. Oh my you goodness. wouldn't understand. You have no sense of what it takes to do what Narcissus Dren does. You're nothing more than an apprentice. Ho ho ho. We have some options here. Didn't I read somewhere that the Chimer hid treasure, treasure in their wells? Of course! <laughs> Narcissus Dren in the Well of Gold! One of my earliest adventures. Why didn't I think of that? I take back everything I said. You are a good apprentice. Now, let's see what they hid away in that old well. You might want to get a closer look. Go check it out! I think you're right, apprentice. There's no water down there, and I definitely see a gleam of gold. <laughs> hey! Oops. I seem to have... I assume that was a mistake on your part. Uh-huh. I reiterate my earlier observation. You're a terrible apprentice. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? A little help, please? Neener, neener, neener. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, poor Alfetta, though. She's, like, in love with him. Well, let's see what she has. We are back to the beginning, I'm going to say. Hello? How do I get out of here? I have no idea how to get out of here. <gasps> can we loot stuff? Oh, my goodness. We can actually loot things. Yay! Fortunately, where there's lots of urns, we've already completed. But hey, let's go talk to Elfetta and see how she feels. Now is not the time to take a break. 
Narcissus will be out soon, I'm sure. What? And oh my goodness, this daily auto share add-on is on. I don't know why. Alfetta! Hello! It's good to see you again. Finished exploring the tomb. But where's Narcissus? Do you miss that dark elf terribly, you know? Oh, Narcissus is doing quite well. He wanted to check out one more hole in the ground. That sounds like my Narcissus. Always wanting to explore just one more nook and cranny. <laughs> I assume he'll be along shortly for one of my shoulder rubs. Allow me to pay you for your service. It is the standard rate for Narcissus' apprentices. Oh, thank you very much. Now, I have blue shoulders already, but am I wearing any of the warrior poet stuff? Because if I am, or if I find anything more, that will allow me to have more health. How about you, Mr. Borfree? Did you know that the dark elves make jelly out of scrapes? <laughs> You'd think bug jelly would taste awful. But spread it on bread and oh, it's divine. Oh, that's a little bit weird to hear coming from him. Oh, poor Narcissus Tren just had to check out that treasure. So after checking out UESP.net a little bit more, it looks like... I've had ourselves another quest, and this one should be really good. If you've played the game before, just one frustration after another. You will recognize her. It's about bloody time your buoyant armchair showed up. I sent a request for assistance almost an hour ago, and oh, hello. You don't look like a bouncing armature to me. <laughs> Still, my manservant is missing, and I could use the help. What seems to be the problem? First, my assistance from the Mages Guild disappeared without so much as a by your leave. Then, my useless manservant Stibbons vanished. Said he was going to solve the mystery, but now he's disappeared as well. And it's almost tea time. Oof, intolerable. What are you and your assistants doing out here? We were exploring the Balfell ruins when everyone left me. Okay. I expect such behavior from the hired help, but Stibbons? He's usually more dependable than that. Locate the mages and Stibbins, then use this signal wand so I can join you. I'll signal you after I find Stibbins and the missing mages. I blame the investigator Vale books I lent to Stibbins. He was never this adventurous before he became enchanted with her admittedly thrilling stories. But what are you still doing here? I thought you were going to find Stibbins and the mages. What's so, uh, what's so special about these ruins? That's what we're trying to determine. Okay. Balfell was once a great city built atop an ancient center of Sheogorath worship. Weird. Now only the Daedric ruins remain. Once we find the treasure, I'll be more famous than that blowhard Narcissus Dren. Narcissus Dren? No one of note. Just a pretentious, arrogant author and adventurer with an overinflated sense of self-importance. He's an irritating dark elf who loves to hear himself talk. And the topic of conversation? The greatness of Narcissus Dren. The sweet. <laughs> you mentioned treasure. Treasure, relic. I'm sure there's something important hidden in the ruins. According to local rumors, people disappear around Balfell all the time. That's what sparked my interest. Mysterious happenings often extend my fame and fortune. Disappear? Like Stibbins and the Mages? Hmm. I suppose there could be a connection. Oh, maybe! On the other hand, never attribute to ancient curses what can be explained by greed and laziness, I always say. Tell me more about these mages. Oh, they were just your typical apprentices. Young, eager, hoping to make a name for themselves by working alongside a famed treasure hunter. The six of them readily broke off promptly at sunset yesterday and abandoned the camp. They abandoned me! Why do you think they abandoned you? <laughs> they already had my gold, so I stay to finish the work. Not the studious and well-mannered apprentices I expect from the Mage's Guild. Besides, if truth be told, they were incompetent. Oh. I'm surprised they remained with us as long as they did. Well, tell me about Stibbins. My manservant Stibbins. He's lazy, drinks too much, and requires detailed instructions to accomplish the simplest of tasks. <laughs> but his fish stew is delicious, I'll grant him that. I regret letting him read my collection of Investigator Veil vale mysteries. What do the Investigator Veil vale books have to do with all this? Uh, have you read them? She's a brilliant detective. Okay. I fear Stibbins got the wrong idea and thinks he can find the missing mages just like Investigator Veil. Vale. When you locate him, I shall express my disapproval for his reckless disregard of his duty. Okay. Fine. Anything good in your desk? 
Ooh, a short orca shell. That's nice. I'm surprised this isn't stealing. I would have expected this to be stealing because it's totally her stuff. I don't mind though. I'll just keep uh, borrowing. You know, just check it all out. Okay, so these are the ruins. And let's get rid of that marker because we don't need it anymore. And set our quest appropriately. And see... Hello? If I can find Stibbins in the missing mages. That looks a little bit sketchy. That looks like maybe why mages are missing. What about over here? Oh! What's that? Are you a person? Oh, you're a mages guild mate. I don't want to go back. No, no, I can't go back. You can't make me go back. Calm down. Are you one of the mages working for Lady Lauren? The overbearing Breton? She's working with the spiders, isn't she? She knew. She knew the spiders would take my friends. She knew they would make them dance. What? I had to run, you see. I had to. I don't want to dance. I don't know how. Spiders took the other mages? Spiders, yes. Please, you have to rescue them. Okay. The spiders make them dance, but nobody can dance forever. I go back, but I can't. I don't dance, you understand? I won't dance. Why do the spiders want us to dance anyway? It makes no sense. Oh, do you know a man named Stibbins? Have you seen him? Stibbins? He's in league with the spiders. Oh my goodness. Why else don't they force him to dance? He went to join his spider masters, but he dropped his spice pouch just over there. Oh no. Do, do you think it's full of spiders? What should I do? What should I do? Oh my goodness. Stay here. I'll examine Stibbins' spice pouch and see if I can pick up the trail. So where is Stibbins' spice pouch? Hmm. wonder what it is. Find the next dropped item. Do I have to... Whoa, there's spiders. Hello, spiders. Hello. I was not expecting to see you, Mr. Spider. I guess I should have been after he's like, oh, the spiders. Ooh, more dropped stuff. <gasps> but a backpack. Uh, investigate her veil in the Temple of Srendar. Okay, so there's a book. A book was lost. What else was lost over here? Let's keep following around. See if we see any... I see spiders, but I'm looking for chests. That's really what I want. Uh, I'm guessing on the other side of this wall? Yes. Pretty good at this. A serving bowl? Mm, that seems a little bit odd. Oh! <gasps> I dare say, help! Help! Stibbins! Ursula, stand up. That creature was positively terrifying. But at least I found one of my lady's hirelings. What creature are you talking about? That horrific spider. I was using several of the inquisitive techniques employed by Investigator Fail <laughs> in her fabulous stories when the largest, most terrifying spider I ever laid eyes upon sprang at me with evil intent. Even spooked the mage. That's uh, one of the mages working with for Lady Lauren? It is, though she's not making much sense. Oh? Perhaps you could talk to her? Lady Laurent believed the mages absconded with her hard-earned gold. So I followed them to these ruins. And, well, I encountered the spider, and then everything went dark. Ah, uh, dark? So the spider attacked you? I, uh, no. This is embarrassing. It started talking to me. Then I swooned and passed out. The spiders have that effect on me. Uh, oh, I, I must return to Lady Laurent. It's well past her tea time and she's going to be extremely displeased with me. Don't leave yet. Let me talk to this mage first. Hey, Jelaine. No, I won't listen. I won't listen. Leave me alone, spiders. Are you hearing something? The spiders. Those damned spiders. They, they talk to me. They want me to dance. Mustn't. I mustn't dance for them. That would be bad. Why do the spiders want you to dance? Why do you think? No, don't think. That's when they get you. They crawl into your mind. Don't let them. Oh. I must go now. Go? Go where? The spiders. 
They call to me. No, 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 no. You can't do this. Join the dance. You just said that you weren't going to dance. And if you don't dance. <laughs> All right. So signal her. How do I signal her? Oh man. Oh, there we go. Use the wand. Well, that's kind of cool, but it's underneath a mushroom. <gasps> Good. Ah. You found Stibbins. Probably just got turned around in the ruins again. Oh yes, probably not. So tell me, what did you discover my manservant doing when you happened upon him? Did he provide an explanation as to why I'm still waiting for my afternoon tea? Stibbins says a terrifying spider talked to him and he fainted. A talking spider? Ridiculous! Oh my goodness. Still, Stibbins has always been dreadfully afraid of the eight-legged pests. No excuse for shirking his responsibilities, though. And the mages? Did you stumble upon them while you tracked down my manservant? I found two of them. One ran into the ruins, ranting out spiders. I couldn't follow her, though. Why not? Don't tell me you're afraid of a few spiders in a dusty old ruin. Oh, give it up. There's a magical barrier. I couldn't pass through it. Interesting. Spiders and a barrier. <laughs> Some sort of spider magic? Regardless, such occurrences suggest there's more to these ruins than I presumed. A great treasure, perhaps? But why could the mage pass through the barrier and not you? Maybe it had something to do with the spiders that were talking to her. She heard talking spiders? Incredible. I can brew a tea to keep Stibbins from fainting. Then he can listen to the spiders and lead us through the barrier. But we need to test its potency. Bring me a small spider from the ruins and meet us at my camp. Okay, I'll get a small spider and meet you at camp. I beg my lady's pardon. I really thought I could solve the case of the missing mages. Ugh, whatever gave you that idea. You can barely manage not to lose my collection of combs and brushes every time you pack them. Oh my goodness. But, but Investigator Vale... Uh, I mean, would Milady like her tea now? Huh? And some of those sweet biscuits I like. Let's return to camp so you can start cooking. Okay. Of course, Milady. Right away. Let hey, Stibbins, I want my book back. I must find out what happens when Investigator Vale meets the innkeeper's daughter in the wine cellar. I'm sure it would be scandalous. Okay, so she's excited about the book, and I, I need to go bring a little spider back. How am I going to bring a little spider back? That is a troll and not a spider. Hello? Something tells me I have to pick a spider that's in the little quest circle. So I'm trying not to irritate the rest of the spiders. Oh, there is a little baby spider here. Okay, I'm going to capture you, spider. Oh, what a cute little baby spider. Okay, back to the camp. Have you guys figured out your tea yet? Stibbins? Uh, Lady Laurent's tea was actually quite delicious, but the thought of listening to that spider and walking into a mysterious ruin just scares the pudding out of me. Oh. Still, if that's what my lady thinks is best... Uh, I guess you do always listen to her. That's one of the spiders. You don't expect me to touch it, do you? Oh, I wonder my. why it hasn't controlled us. Too far from the ruins? Uh, maybe it targets specific individuals? Mm. Well, release the spider and let's see if the tea keeps Stibbins from fainting. All right, all right. Let's put the spider down. Uh, use mini spider. Uh, where do I can do that? Right there. Uh, a spider. I'm still conscious? Yes. He worked. Head for the ruins and find the spider that talked to you, Stibbins. <laughs> As you command, my lady. Okay, so we're helping Stibbins out, our Lady Laurent, and going to see if we can talk to spiders so we can walk through magical barriers. Ooh, how is this a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> Where's the spider, Stibbins? Another spider. It's talking to me. Oh, Hello, boy. Whoa. Aha, ah. you brought friends to the dance. Come in, come in. There's room for you all. Why are we dancing? Well, what do we have here? I don't know. Now this is intriguing. Someone set up a little workshop in these ruins. A workshop? 
What kind of workshop? Alchemy from the looks of it, though I see a few components related to Daedric magic. Dead spiders, vials, various alchemical components. This must be how these mind spiders were created. They certainly don't appear to be natural creatures. Do you notice anything else? The notes in this journal, they refer to different kinds of spiders. Mind spiders, we already know about them. It also lists pack spiders, light spiders, and exploding spiders. Exploding like spiders. spiders! Someone is making spiders of nefarious purpose. What does this all have to do with Stibbins and the missing mages? The journal indicates that victims controlled by the mind spiders are needed for some sort of daedric ritual. Oh. We need to find whoever is performing this ritual, and you need to make them stop. Then I can lead Stibbins and the others to safety. Okay, sounds like a plan. Follow me, brave assistant. Brave? Why am I always the assistant nowadays? Hello? I was right. It is some kind of Daedric ritual led by a hulking Nord priest. A hulking... Brave assistant, do something. Oh, brave assistant, do something. All right, so I guess that's, uh... Oh, Stibbins, Stibbins is dancing. Stop dancing this instant. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, okay. Woo. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to do awesome. And it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Come to join our dance. Dance, dance. Shake your nethers for the mad god. Whoa. Is this no, Chagorath? Dance must not be interrupted. Is it Chagorath? Run! Why do your feet hurt? Because you've been dancing. Probably for Naturally, quite a while. We will be reducing your compensation accordingly. What? Hello? Not their fault. Lady Laurent don't care though, does she? No, I can sit. Come on, I want good stuff out of here. Nothing good? There appears to be nothing good. Back to the camp. Oh, Lady Laurent, I found everybody for you. As much as a good run from a Daedric ruin really gets the blood pumping, I wish we had been more successful. We lost a few of the apprentices, and I never did locate any relics or treasures. And we stopped a Daedric priest and rescued Stibbins? Hmm, I suppose. I still can't figure out how the priest was able to control their minds using spiders. It's a bafflement. Maybe one of these scrolls I seized on the way out will shed some light on this final mystery. Scrolls from a Daedric rune? Sounds dangerous. No need to worry. Stibbins will examine the scrolls. He's ever more durable than he appears. I know a scribe who lives near White Ridge Barrow in Skyrim. Oh. His fascination with spiders borders on obsession, but I'm sure he'll appreciate the scrolls. You really want Stibbins to examine a Daedric scroll? I appreciate your help and your concern, but what possible harm could glancing at a few dusty scrolls cause? Oh, okay. Here, for your trouble. I seem to have some extra gold after adjusting my staff's compensation. Hmm. Oh, Stibbins, since you like to read... I can't believe she's really going to do that. Stibbins, I have something I'd like you to read. What's this? The newest Investigator Veil vale mystery? No. Just read it out loud and tell me what it says. Oh, read aloud. What fun. Just enunciate, Stibbins, and speak loudly. Any time now, Stibbins. This isn't the newest Investigator Veil vale mystery. No, it's read not! It out, Stibbins! Something, something. Mad God flows and ebbs. Something, something, something. Call forth the tangled webs. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. Oh! Oh, really, Stibbins? You do manage to complicate the simplest tasks. No, I'm pretty sure that's just what happened. And Lady Laurent is probably going to leave Stibbins like that. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Morrowind. We're nearing in at the end, but don't worry, there's still more of Morrowind to explore. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now. Thank you.